We rely on the best available science to guide us, and sometimes that doesn't necessarily come from uh, research. It can come from observations that uh, everyday people are making in everyday places, teaching us things about some of the common species on our landscape and maybe things that we hadn't focused on before and highlight a little bit of something extra where NCC can then put some focus. Citizen science data is uh is critical sort of as a first cut to see where species are or distributions of species. Um, it's being used with increasing frequency for the Committee on the Status of Wildlife in Canada, um, whether through eBird or other mechanisms to assess population trends and change over time and changes in species distribution. As insignificant as they think their individual observations are, they're, they're really important. So, I mean, if, if five professional biologists go out they can do what five people can do. But if a million everyday citizens go out and spend five minutes collecting information, they're going to collect more than those five professional biologists. For properties that I've been involved with managing in the past, we've actually gone to sites like eBird to help fill in some of the gaps uh, in information where we might do a breeding bird survey on one day in June. This whole army of citizen scientists have been out on the Cardinal Bar all summer long. So they fill in the other 364 days of the year and give us a lot more information about what's actually happening on the property than we might be able to gain showing us what's on our properties and guiding how we're going to manage them.